hymn number 261 on page 82 God of mercy and compassion look with pity upon me Father let me call the Father this thy child return to me Jesus Lord I ask for mercy let me not implore in vain all my sins are now the test never will I say Today, Margaret Picardo is celebrating her birthday. We offer this mass for her. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, Let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God, God and, and to you, you my, my brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and, and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord, our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Convert us, O God, our Saviour, and instruct our minds by heavenly teaching, that we may benefit from the works of Lent through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Leviticus. The Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to all the congregation of the people of Israel, and say to them, You shall be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not steal, you shall not deal falsely, you shall not lie to one another, You shall not swear by my name falsely, and so profane the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not oppress your neighbor or rob him. The wages of a hired worker shall not remain with you all night until the morning. You shall not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block before the blind, but you shall fear your God. 
I am the Lord. You shall do no injustice in court. You shall not be partial to the poor or defer to the great, but in the righteousness shall you judge your neighbor. You shall not go around as a slanderer among your people, and you shall not stand up against the life of your neighbor. I am the Lord. You shall not hate your brother in your heart, but you will reason frankly with your neighbor, lest you incur sin before of him. You shall not take revenge or bear a grudge against the sons of your own people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Your response after every verse of this psalm would be? Your word, O Lord, are spirit and life. Please repeat. Your, Your words, words, O Lord, Lord are, are spirit, spirit and, and life. life. The law of the Lord is perfect. It revives the soul. The decrees of the Lord are steadfast. They give wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right. They gladden the heart. The command of the Lord is clear. It gives light to the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, abiding forever. The judgments of the Lord are true. They are all of them just. Your response? Your, Your words, O Lord, Lord, are truth. spirit and life. May the spoken words of my mouth, the thoughts of my heart, win favor in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Your response? Your words, O Lord, are spirit and life. Please stand up for the gospel acclamation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. Behold, now is the favorable time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on his glorious throne. Before him will be gathered all the nations, and he will separate people one from another as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will place the sheep on his right, but the goats on the left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? And when did we seek you, or it, and when did we seek you, see you sick, or in prison, and visited you? The king will answer them. Truly, I say to you as you did it to one of the least of these my brothers, you did it to me. Then he will say to those on his left, depart from me, you cursed, into the eternal fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. I was hungry, and you, you gave me no food. I was thirsty, 
and you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you did not welcome me. Naked, and you did not clothe me. Sick and in prison, and you did not visit me. Then they will also answer, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty, or a stranger or naked, or sick or in prison, and did not minister to you? Then he will answer them, saying, Truly I say to you, as you did not do it to one of the least of these, you did not do it to me. And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, Jesus is credited with exercising three actions at the end of the world. First, the action of sorting. He sorts out. He sorts, as all of us we do. For example, when we move from one place to another, we sort out our belongings. We sort our luggage. When we put rice into the boiling pot, we also sort the good rice from the bed. So we sort. Likewise, Jesus will do at the end of times. He will sort the goats from the sheep. The second action, so first action is the, act, is the action of sorting. The second action, he rewards the good. Who are the sheep? The sheep are the good persons. Those who came to the aid of the poor. Those who love the neighbor as one loves oneself. Those who came to the aid of those who were those who were naked and clothed them. Those who were hungry and thirsty and gave them food and water and so on. So the criterion of rewarding is the action of love, charity. So the second action is the action of rewarding. Jesus rewards. And finally, the third action, the action of condemnation. Those who did not perform the, the act of love towards the neighbor, did not come to the aid of those who were needy, they are condemned forever. So Jesus performs three acts, the acts of sorting, the act of rewarding, the, the, act, the act of condemning. Let us love one another as we love ourselves. And now place at the last mo at the last on the last day will be to the right. We will be among the sheep and we will find rewarded with eternal life. For the offertory, let us take hymn number 126 on page 35, hymn number 126.
pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice from your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all of us. May this devout oblation be acceptable to you, O Lord, that by your power it may sanctify our manner of life and gain for us your conciliation and pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your Lord. spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up with the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, it is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For by your precious gift each year, your faithful await the sacred Paschal feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer, and on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries by which, they are, by which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace, that you bestow on your sons and daughters, and so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like a dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Save us Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, 
and Philip Neria of Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Let the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Hymn number 179 on page 55, 179. Yeah. 
Let us pray. We pray, O Lord, that in receiving your sacrament, we may experience health in mind and body, so that kept safe in both, we may glorify in the fullness of heavenly healing through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Hymn number 267 on page 84.